So welcome all of you. This is Nana here and then uh, we are going to start this uh, fusion procurement training. So I'll be having a small intro about me. I graduated in the year 1982 and then I joined Steel Authority in 1983. And then I worked there for about 78 years and then afterwards, I worked on very many steel plants in the Middle East actually. I've gone to very many projects here and there. And then afterwards, uh, I I was I took a volunteer retirement from uh, uh, Kalyani Steels uh, in the year 2005. I was a AGM there, <clears throat> AGM Instrumentation, Automation and Telecommunication actually. And then afterwards, I came back to Madras and then I was there here only. And then because of family problems, I couldn't uh, uh, do much about it. And then afterwards, I had a brief uh, uh, what happens uh, work uh, in Oracle itself, no fine as a trainer in 19, uh, 2010 to 2012, actually. And then afterwards, I was a freelancer, <clears throat> totally. So uh, I am exposed to Oracle right from uh, uh, 2005 onwards. No? I worked on at 10.6, actually. Uh, and then afterwards, I upgraded to 11, and then afterwards to 12, and then now to Fusion, actually. <clears throat> Since I have a very good uh, domain experience, and then uh, I was able to correlate whatever I have seen in the domain with the ERP actually. So that was a very fantastic experience. Many of you might not have got a field experience actually. So we transited from a no computer situation into a computer as well. So by which we had a, what happens a good in-depth understanding of what exactly is happening on the ERP actually. So let me go on and share my screen now. And that is my brief introduction. So whenever you have any doubts, then and there you open up your mic and then speak now, fine. So before I do the what's called sharing, I will now mute all of you now. I'm going to mute all of you. And then you can unmute whenever you want, fine. And then you can, so after you complete your speech, you please mute it so that uh, there won't be any much of a disturbance from your side, actually. So let me go on and share my screen now. So now, <clears throat> here, in this place, if you go on and see this now, <clears throat> If you put drive.google.com and then you click on the shared with me on the left-hand side, you will now find one Fusion Procurement October 2020 will uh, be there. So, click on it. so once when you open the Fusion Procurement October 2020, you'll be having some seven entries over here now. So the first one is extra docs and records if you open it up. I have now given you how to customize a springboard now. Find springboard customization has been recorded. So watch it and then you can very well customize the springboard. And I know that there are many, many people who have got no idea about Fusion now, fine, so that no problem at all, it will all be done properly. Then once Somnath has created an enterprise structure on his own now, fine, by referring some documents. So I have uploaded this document. And then we have one big man available here, Jensen, and then he has made a complete OM worksheet now with screenshots. It will be a very, old, very useful one. Around 600 pages document he made. He has got a lot of patience. And then we are going to invite him to do this also for a procurement now. So let us hope that he will be doing it now. So then afterwards, the diffusion applications overview is the one. We are going to begin this session only with this now. <clears throat> So somebody has put a chat message. I cannot see it now. So if it is important, please read me for, for me. You go to the Fusion Procurement. So this is on the extra docs and records. So time and again, I will be uploading more and more documents over here now and documents and records. So come to this place and then visit this extra docs and records at least once in a week and then see what is new over here. Now. Next one is what I will now come to the freebies now. So freebies is approximately 100 GB in size. Don't try to right click and then download. It will not download at all. I don't know, 100 GB. Fine, it will be very difficult to download. So don't right click and then download like this. So open it up. And then here, you'll now find the inside, the small fragmented ones. The ADF recordings, you right click and then download. Likewise, you keep on downloading it. And remember, the access to all the folders will be removed on 15th of December. So you have around approximately two months time. So uh, you do it within the time now. So again and again, I'm reminding you, fine brother. So at the last minute, don't ask that. Uh, extend it by one week, two weeks, like that. It happened for the previous batches. So I have given you sufficient time. Fine. Try to download everything. Fine. Uh, 100 GB of size. Fine. Whenever time permits, you keep on downloading them. So that is on the freebies now. Any questions you have, you just ask me then and there. Then Fusion Procurement Records. This is the place where every day session will be uploaded now. Fine. We will be recording every day session and then that will be getting uploaded over here now. So we have this now. And then I have made one one folder for Jensen and then he is now having a right access to this now, Jensen. So you can upload it. You can open it up and then you can upload the document whenever you make it now. Oh, he has already made it now. Good. So he has already started making it now. So he will be updating it and then he will now put a message to the in the group now that whatever he has done, he will be doing it now. 
so uh, we have to thank him and then he is an excellent uh, writer actually fine you know he makes screenshots beautifully and then he does it now fine so jensen is the one <clears throat> and then uh, you go back one level now that is on the records so every day say every session every day session records will be uploaded into the fusion procurement records there are four mock sessions are already available and then i'll be adding the every day session also here in doubts go oh, yeah then rapid implementation fine so uh, i have given this as a free uh, uh, what happens a record for you it has got about uh, around 11 records now my 11 records are there and then uh, it has got some supporting documents like rapid implementation folder fusion order management documentation folder and at the bottom fusion om worksheet folder so go through them and then you will not try to understand rapid implementation along with the om setups now. <coughs> fine <coughs> one amit rathore has uh, completed everything all the 68 steps he has completed now fine so likewise you can even uh, what happens you can ask him what exactly the problem and all i will not tell you oh god i cannot see this guy see he is asking is there any link to join zoom oh god he is asking such a question people don't even read the mails actually what is asking i am not so friend okay he is asking i don't know including the term. first of all i will ask him to join this zoom sudipta are you there yep Sudipta, have you joined? Oh God, people. I joined. Okay, join now. Very good. Very good. Good. Mm. You open up your mic and speak. Okay. Meeting ID. Oh, come on. <coughs> Is it asking any meeting ID? I don't understand this now. Yeah, because when you click on the link, you will be coming inside directly. Not asking. No, no, asking. yeah, no, no. Like if you click that link, it will not ask. Uh, sometimes if they have already installed the Zoom app and they are direct directly open their Zoom meeting okay. and they are expecting that ID, and if oh. you hit the ID, it will ask the password. Okay. okay. So they didn't click direct click the link. The hmm. Sarta is explaining something. What happened? Hmm. Basically, everyone has to click on the link what you have sent, Nana. They will directly uh -huh. join the link. Then, yeah. On the Zoom, uh, normal Zoom link. Somebody even uh, reply in the WhatsApp also. Fine, uh, whatever you feel like. So the whatever they will be at least seeing the WhatsApp and then they are doing it. Nana, I got some five, seven, eight calls. Nana, where is the link? Oh God, I have sent a mail and then nobody has got the patience. This is such a big mail, Nana. <laughs> oh God. So they don't have the patience to even read the mails. Actually, now. This is on the rapid implementation. So OEM setups are explained fully on this one. And then afterwards, we have one fusion instances. I will be constantly updating it. Fine. So it is a very bad situation for Nitin. The second one he chose, and then it was cloned actually on Saturday. So some of the instances will be cloned. We don't know the frequency of cloning actually. Fine. Uh, we got it from one of my one of my best student actually, and then he also know doesn't know about which will be working. He is giving me two things that is it PWC. The first one is working for the past ten days. The last one is also working for the past ten days. That's what you were saying, you know. And uh, just because it is working for ten days, how much, how much, how long it will work? We are not clear upon you. Whereas in the previous batch, we had an instance which which uh, he was knowing that it will be working for one month actually, and then it uh, it got cloned, and then afterwards again it worked for one month. So if you have such information, he will definitely pass on. But he is saying that I am not having this information now. So uh, you can even choose on the first or last, and then anything you randomly choose, and then everything is having a common username and password, so you can go inside of this. Okay, any doubts on the fusion instances? And then I will be updating it whenever I get new. I will be putting it over here now. Fine. This is the place where we can see the instances actually. You can even download the file and then keep it for your reference. Now, fine. This one. This document you can download and then keep it over here. This is the document, and then this is the worksheet on which we are going to work upon. uh and then uh, what happens i know create one folder for uh, karthik he is uh, called a specialist in uh, role customization actually he is from uk london and then uh, he will not be able to join because he has to go for office in the morning so you won't attend this training actually and i will now create a folder for him now and go that click on it and then i will now uh, go that click on it i will now make a file folder now <clears throat> sorry i'll not folder upload i will now make a new folder for him now fine i will now say karthik documents So Karthik documents, I'm making, creating it. I will now give him a full access to do it now. Fine, that's one. So what I'm going to do now? Go there. I will now take up his uh, this thing now. Fine, this is the mail ID. I'm going to copy it. I will go there. I will now right click and then I will now share this and then I will now give him a full access so that he will now write on it and then he can go and then read it now. Actually, so this is the one. 
So it is the editor access is there only the viewer access. So editor means what he can read and write. View means only view and download now. So I am giving editor access to him. I click on send. So he will be writing on it and then you will now read it. Whenever you have a edit privilege, what happens is that uh, that guy can even delete anything. I am not going to make two such folders. Ah? Got it. Notify people. He will be notified actually. Okay. So he is now having a read access and write access actually. I click on send now. Fine. He will be notified also that he has now been friend. The person is added now. Now I am not going to. He has given a very good suggestion which I am going to do now. Fine. He is saying that many people are searching for a jobs. Why don't you create a directory called profiles now? Fine. I am going to make a directory for profiles. I click on it. I will now create a folder now. Fine. It's called profiles now. So there are some big people in this group now. Fine. They will now. You can upload your profiles. You can upload your resume over here now. And then uh, what you can do is once when you upload, and then they will now come frequently, and then look at the profiles. Fine. If anything is of interest to them, then they will now contact you directly. Fine. Click on create now. So those who are searching for a jobs, you open up a profile and then do it now. Fine. Click on create now. And then I am now going to give a full access to everybody. Fine. That is very dangerous actually, but I am giving it. But uh, the the danger is what you will now delete others also. Fine. Do you know one guy was saying I was right clicking it, and then below the download there is a remove. Sir, by mistake with the instead of downloading I have removed it now. Fine. This happened some four, from with four people now. Fine. Not only one or two. Four people are told. Sir, it is very near to download, and then I removed it. Oh God! Don't make mistakes at all. Fine. Do not delete others' profiles. Don't exercise when you are downloading it. Do it with a caution, and then uh, don't give a remove now. Fine. Brother. So here I am going to what happens? I go there. I will not share it. I will not give a share to everybody now. Fine. Brother. Click on it. So the entire class will be shared. Fine. Brother. Click on it. So let me take it up. I am not going to give a full access to this now. <clears throat> so let me add everybody on this now. Do it with caution, and then uh, go there. Kalyani, are you there, Kalyani? Yes, sir. I am here. Tell me your mail ID also. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Right, I will now add. Kalyani dot Vakati at Gmail. Kalyani dot Vakati. Ah, uh, N I please. Ah, uh, after Kalyani. Kalyani. N I. Yeah, okay. Kalyani dot. Yeah. Vakati. Vakati. At yeah. Gmail dot com. Yes, sir. No, adding you also fine. Go click on it. <laughs> I will register you after uh, the class is over. No, fine. I will not share you anything at all. Fine. Make a copy of it and then go there. I will not paste this people. No, fine. Paste it over here. All the one. Oh, here. my name is at the top. So <laughs> <laughs> you're the first guy who has paid. You know, you paid some two months before itself. So you're the man. You're the man who is the top. Advance payment. <laughs> Advance payment. <laughs> so much demand. What a kill Dana's classes. <laughs> So I am now giving editor access. Editor access means what? Everybody can write it now. Fine. Now, whomsoever who wants a job, what happens? You go and then open up and then paste your profiles. Now, please don't delete it. Fine. It has happened many times and then I should not do it now. Fine. And if you see that yours is deleted again, go there and update. Fine. All the people are now added over here now. Up to Kalyani. Fine. Well, the last person is a Kalyani. Fine. The first person is a Sanjay. Fine. Over there. Fine. Click on send now. Fine. Now a mail, a message will be sent to you that this is now added. Fine. Click on send. So it's not sending. So yeah, and the folder is now shared with everybody with the editor access. That means what write access you have now. Right? People added, and then I will now add one more thing. Fine, whether I will now add one more folder now. So one more folder I will add for what happens your proficiency. So you can even paste your proficiency as a word file. So that somebody can even come and then see about uh, your contact details, your uh, your email ID or mobile number or whatever it is, along with where and all your profession. So if they get a job, if they get a project, they may even contact you directly. Fine, that will be a very useful one for you. So that also one guy suggested me. So I am now adding on the proficiency folder now. Fine, you can add up your proficiency folder over here now and click on create now. Oh, that is not working. It is not created. I will now again share the same thing. Fine, go there. Click on share now. I have not pasted up. I have clicked on it. I have not pasted all the one fifty and all. <clears throat> and with Sanjay in the start and then Vakati in the bottom. <clears throat> it access fine. It access and click on send now. Fine. So this is also proficiency is also created over here now. Fine. Click on send. So it is now sending jing 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 jing. It is going now. <clears throat> the mails are going to everybody. And then the left hand side bottom you will now see that people added. Ah, it is now come and go there. What happened now? Restrict only. People added. I can open this link. Oh God! It looks like it is not getting restricted on this now. That's okay, na fine. Because only the people who are there only can do it now. Okay? Get get link and then restricted. Uh, only people added can only uh, open this the, the link now. 
or uh, change the to any one of the link it is not required now if i change to any one of the link is not required my restriction is okay actually restricted only the people who can add it now i go that one so it's done now click on done now uh in the profile profiles also if you go there and click on it and right click on the share now have another icon it is restricted only fine it's also restricted only. <clears throat> so it doesn't matter because only these guys are only going to write and then uh, read also fine so proficiency and profiles are uh, what happens you are having uh, right access also on this now so whenever time permits you keep on uploading on this now. so that's all it now fine go click on it so we have seen all the things now fine everything any doubts on this uh, folder now you drive dot google dot com and then you see every folder has to come over here now. If it is not coming on the mail ID, the the sharing message will be there now. Fine, you click on the open button on the mail and that will add you automatically this folder to your drive actually. If it doesn't happen, it happened for Kumaran and then it happened for uh, uh, one more guy, fine, uh, Surendra. So both of them have clicked on this now. Fine, I'll not show you, but how to do it now? Uh, Kumaran, okay, fine. If you see this now, he has got. one such mail from me you now fusion procurement records so in this place what happens it is a open sharing setting that is for me because i am the owner now so it will come as open now if you see in the mail what happens the fusion procurement records or not procurement records again the higher one now fine the higher one you have to see now and if you click on this uh, it will now uh, the higher is what fusion procurement october 2020 fine you open that on and then fusion procurement october 2020 that will be open button if you click on it automatically it gets added up into your uh, what's called in your drive now. so and then afterwards you can click on the share with me on the left and then you can now watch it now so any uh, questions on this uh, google drive now because i will not again and again explaining it to you fine every day's records are uploaded over here now what <clears throat> it so yeah, one, one question mr nana like i lost your voice in between just the one question like uh, somebody posted saying that they already done uh, till step, step number 69 uh, yeah 68 is there fine in this one a uh, uh, rapid implementation fine amit can you speak now fine he has taken a terrific effort and then he has completed everything now fine amit are you there yes no, i have how do you find the uh, uh, coverage on boem now on the uh, you like it, it is good it is good yeah. actually uh, i have a first time experience fusion uh -huh. uh, so i face some problems uh, uh -huh. also uh, very good. but i completed at least very good very good amit has completed it amit rathor has uh, completed all the 68 steps which are explained in this 11 video records beautiful now fine so that way you can now learn rapid implementation in this training we are going to see a manual implementation and then this is a rapid implementation good <clears throat> and then share your knowledge and then uh, what happens if you are learning anything new also uh, guide others if anybody is stuck on anywhere what happens amit you re respond to them now fine brother because i almost forgot to mention more than two months over and then i am not uh, i sure, i can sure, no, no, watch no, my no, record to <laughs> helping others actually sure, no, no. so this is on the google drive now and then on the what's called uh, uh, if you go to my website now i got oraclenana.com and then in the website you will now find one discussion form now you click on the discussion form on my website oraclenana.com and click on the discussion form and then here more than 142 people have already joined so you have to register and then afterwards only you can click on it now fine go on the there will be a register button will be coming on the top you go there and then click on the acm discussions and then here i will be i have uploaded many student guides activity guides and then many dumps over there now they will all be very useful for you fine if you have any good documents also you can come over here directly and then upload it over here now. so do, do register and then uh, get benefited and then uh, some uh, good documents will be uploaded over here now actually fine so there is a generic documents not necessary to procurement fine brother like roles for various modules so 31 people if you click on it what happens you can now see how many people have downloaded it now fine so there are so many ap user access all these things are there so how many people have downloaded also is not showing it so do register on the discussion form of my website and then uh, get benefited on this <coughs> so that's all this now fine go that click on it so let us now begin the day any doubts on the generic concepts now fine how we are organized fine i hope that everything is clear for you and go that click on it now let me go there for now go to fusion procurement it is a replica of what is there in the what's called your uh, uh, google drive actually but only from here i will be uploading it over there now so i'll now go to the extra docs and records and then i'll be constantly uh, what happens adding more and more now. so let me have a look at the fusion applications over you and that's what we want we are going to have a look at the overview of the fusion <coughs> enable editing and then we'll go there yes, sir so fusion applications over you so these are the very many erp products available in the market now jd edwards is the what's called the leader in manufacturing people soft for the hrms actually cbel is for the crm 
and then oracle is for mainly financials so these are the very many erp products available in the market now so oracle has acquired all these products all the top products in the market has been acquired by oracle actually so go there so erp products and best solutions on this no kind of so everything is there here and then oracle is oracle products they are now they have now oracle products actually the jd edwards people soft table even since with hyperion and then the primera everything is now belonging to oracle actually so about the fusion applications what they did is uh, they made an amalgamation in the year uh, 2005 or so so they formed a big team for fusion and then uh, they uh, brought the people from uh, the very many brought uh, bought out products like jd edwards people soft etc and then they formed a team called fusion and then the team is responsible for developing this fusion applications actually so they all uh, it is an amalgamation of a uh, very many uh, bought out products and then uh, it's uh, more powerful that's what they say now <clears throat> so cloud computing fine we'll now see what exactly is a cloud computing <clears throat> so the practice of using a network of remote servers hosted on the internet to store fine in the internet, there are so many remote servers are there so you can uh, use what happens uh, uh, using all these networks fine you are going to use a network and then you going to use for what storing managing and then closing the data rather than a local server of a, of a personal computer so once when you are in a cloud we can even club multiple servers together and then you can run very well work upon it so that is basically cloud computing so the cloud computing is like this no fine so basically the servers will be located in very many places and then they will all be getting interlinked actually through this one so this is oracle cloud and this is one of the powerful clouds but amazon's cloud is a very famous one now and then there are some more clouds also which are really very famous now in the market fine but oracle is also a competing cloud when compared to others actually Amazon Web Services, I think, is the leader, and then uh, Sanjay is already having uh, an account there actually. <clears throat> so, cloud computing options. We have got three options as far as Oracle is concerned. One is a SaaS option, fine. One is a PaaS option, and then one is an IaaS option. So, SaaS is a very cheap product actually. When I was uh, giving a support to Saudi Arabia, uh, they were having uh, uh, the SaaS product of order management actually, software as a service. so uh, what happens uh, their management wanted to have a multiple level fulfillment like uh, uh, you buy something uh, in bombay and then you're going to receive it in bombay and then you're going to make a transfer to madras and then from the madras you're going to ship it to customers in a single sales order so this is called a multiple level of fulfillment that is buy receive transfer ship fine so two activities have to be done one is a buying and then one is a transferring so i raised the sr and then oracle immediately told me nana why don't you come with the customer to get the pass license so with the pass license we can do that now fine multiple level of fulfillment we can very well do so i told the management of uh, the saudi and then the, they approached oracle for the price it was very exorbitant they told that no we don't want it now <laughs> so they are giving a very cheap product sometimes it's even 60 to 70% discount they are giving i think uh, subu knows a lot about this pricing and all right saas is a very cheap product and then uh, not everything is possible on saas you need to have go for a pass platform as a service where we can even do lot of customizations and then uh, we can uh, customize the application to the exact need of the customer actually so this is basically an infrastructure fine infrastructure is totally a different one so oracle sells these three licenses too and most of the licenses they sell to attract the customers the first one is the saas license with the saas they attract the customers and then they will now gradually ask them to go for it every license will be valid for approximately 3 years time and then during this time what happens it will be having it will be any upgrades every year they are making four such upgrades in the first quarter second quarter third quarter and fourth quarter and then all the upgrades are free for them for the customers previously in ebis what happens we had to pay some money for uh, uh, buying a higher version now but here it is not so here everything is free actually <coughs> so cloud computing options for customers actually and saas <clears throat> it is basically to consume this no fine applications uh, middleware and then servers no fine we can very well build it the application can be built whereas here whatever is available as a ready made product only can be used where here we can build it and then we can host this is a infrastructure is basically for host hosting fine we can very well host it <clears throat> so delivery models of fusion cloud applications in a saas what exactly is there no fine so this is the way we are going to deliver it to the customer actually in a pass uh, this is uh, oracle's one and then the remaining are all done or uh, will be done by the uh, on the implementing customer implementing implementers actually in ias these three are oracles fine the remaining are all managed by the vendors actually <clears throat> so how it works so on premise versus crowd fine what exactly is that fine <clears throat> so it is an upfront investment and then uh, uh, you will be having an annual support cost fine we have to pay it now 
customer owned upgrades and practicing fine everything he will be doing the patch adana it will be specific for him now and not for everybody actually retention of own it subcontract soft fine these are all the futures of on premise and then these are the futures of a cloud actually rent a flexible service so only pay what you use actually <coughs> not everything business super users rather than it support managers embedded models and no upgrades but latest functionality will be always be given to you free of cost and no upgrades are required so security is the one extra function which is now there in our cloud actually so technology changes when compared to servers now fine oracle app server this is a web logic server is now there in this place now even web logic has come in use also and then guy fine forms and jsp is the one for the graphical user interface whereas here adf and then whatever it will be having this one. <coughs> So here ADF is now Java servlet faces actually. So workflows are PL SQL here uh, business uh, process uh, uh, some uh, execution or some language here. BPL is the one is my use for the workflows. Workflows are replaced by uh, what happens? This BPL flow. We'll be having a look at the BPM. It's called business process management. Reports or XML publishes here is BPM. Another is discover and then is the OTP actually. So application changes, EBS. There are many applications like finance, the Charama and projects. Here applications are also similar. Fine, there's the same thing. The database is common. Fine, of course. System administrator is there, and then here <coughs> we initially had the Oracle Identity Manager and Authorization Policy Manager that has been removed now. <coughs> From release eleven onwards, these two components have been removed, and then it has now made so simple actually. Fine. Previously, I was working on release nine, and then I used to configure IDM, and then APM now. But it is really very cumbersome because we need to have technical knowledge; otherwise, it's not possible. So after uh, release ten itself, what happens? Uh, they have removed these two components, and then there's no made very excellent company. So that's it on the what's called your uh, introduction to fusion. Now, find uh, Keep watching these extra docs and there. Now, uh, let me go on and log in into my system. Now, find I will now log in into my uh, company login now. So go there. So I'm now logging into the company. So this area is known as a springboard now, in which what happens? You are now seeing very many icons over here now. So sometimes what happens? It doesn't look like this now. I'm going to let you on it. I will not show you this place now. Application procurement. So if you open it up and then here, if you see the fusion instances, let me take one of the instances like this now. All of them are having a common password now. HTTP token. Okay, let's seven is also coming along with it. I'll remove that seven now. So let me log in into this instance now. <clears throat> so username is f zero one dot emp. Username is not case sensitive. Password is case sensitive. W fine. Welcome one two three. Now click on sign in now. Keep a watch on the record icon. If it goes away, please immediately tell me. <coughs> Now, if you click on the home icon on the top, <coughs> you'll be having a different look and feel of the navigator. Actually, you cannot access because <coughs> what is this? Somebody has done some customization, something. Oh God, is not even accessing it actually. I will now go to some other instance. No fun. So this happens. People modify things to a great extent. Beyond your work normally, what happens? Please don't do anything at all. Otherwise, it's it will not spoil everybody actually. Fine, I'll not take this now. Go there. So we are going into this now. So I click on the home icon. Leave. Click on the home icon. This is also coming like this one. In some instances, what happens? Uh, the look and feel of a springboard will be different actually. So to convert it into this form, you can go and then watch this record on the extra docs and records. The first one will not tell you about how to customize the springboard actually. Right. To have it as a goal, goal, round, round icon. So this springboard customization will not be true. So watch it and then try to customize it, and then give a good appealing color and all fine. Uh, don't fiddle around on this too much. Now fine, there's a look and feel, and so don't fiddle around too much on this. One. So go there. So I will now come out of it. I'm now in this place. 
So here we will now go to the worksheet, open the worksheet, and then start our activity on this now. So click on it. Now go to the worksheet now. Fusion procurement. I will now open up the fusion procurement worksheet. So we are going to do this now fine. So the worksheet is coming. So we are now beginning with our first step now, fine brother. <clears throat> so somebody has put a chat message, fine brother. So whatever is it, you just look at the chat and then if it is important, then talk. Now, we are going to create a custom role for the human resources, but uh, my student, I conducted this training some one year back and then I don't know what are the uh, upgrades which has come now. Now so students are saying that what happens is this step is no more required at all, fine brother. So anyhow, I'm now doing it now. So if it is not required, need not to do I will not take up the copy of the task. <clears throat> so in the meantime, whatever, no, from where to access this uh, procurement worksheet? It is there. We have seen it now. We have already seen it. In the cloud, if you go there, if you see this now. Uh, can you see this uh, Fusion Procurement Worksheet on your drive, actually? Fusion Procurement Worksheet is there in the Fusion Procurement October 2020. Is there. Okay. So let us go there. Move there. That is the place where I have not shown you everything. Again, watch all the records. Now yeah, yeah, I got that. Uh, thank you. Now, what I will do is I will now go to the trap. Now, fine. let me log in to the eBiz. Now, fine. So I have an info semantics uh, login. Now, fine. Let me go there. And then I have already shared it with others. Now, fine. If you want, I will again share it for you. Let me log in. Enter it. <coughs> so let me go there. And then, uh, Put my username. Anybody can go and register. They will now give a username and password for you on the Infosematics. You know that you can very well get it now. Paste it over here now. It's uh, I have said before. So please don't change the password. Otherwise, I myself cannot log in now. So it's one second. There's Oracle one two three now. Click on login now. Logging in. So how emails works? We are going to see now. So, okay. In the meantime, what I was, we'll now go to our thing now. I will click on the, we'll now go to the worksheet now. We should click on the worksheet now. So, we'll now take a copy of the first task now. Fine. Everything is as a task now. There, we call them as setups. Under the setups, everything will be coming. Here, everything will be coming under a task actually. <clears throat> what happened? You go to this place. Uh, you go to the one. Oh, God, I'm not going there at all. Management's just to go into the navigator actually. <coughs> so it's not going over there. So every application will be having responsibilities. Fine. In Ebus, we have the responsibility concept here. It is all role-based access control. So there is a change when compared to this. So if you see this now, fine with the console, there will be one setup area. So for the transactional users, this menu itself will not be available for them at all. They will now hide it. So they will not, and then we'll be having plenty of setups activities. So for the transactional users, we will now hide this menu, and then or otherwise we'll now create a responsibility separately without the setup as such. Whereas here it is basically a role. If you don't give a role, he cannot perform setups at all. He cannot perform any setups. So that is how it works in is a role mode. We are going to see about how the role works. And then before we start, what happens? We go there and then we will now create a custom role now. Fine, we are going to get a custom role. So manage data roles and security profiles is the one. I will now take a copy of the role and then I will now perform this now. Go to this place. <coughs> so go to this place. And then click on the name on the right hand side top now. Fine. Click on the name on the right hand side top. And then here you go to the setup and maintenance. So the role which is required for setup and maintenance is called application implementation consultant. So if you give that role, you will be getting a setup and maintenance. <clears throat> and there are many variants to it, fine. There is an application implementation manager is there. <clears throat> Likewise, uh, some two, three roles are there. <clears throat> and application implementation consultant is uh, having the maximum power. Now. So we'll be giving that role to uh, our users actually. So click on it. So once when you give the role, <coughs> 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 You'll be getting the setup and maintenance. I will click on it now. <coughs> uh, 
I will now come to this area. <coughs> this is known as a <coughs> functional setup manager. This area is known as a functional setup manager. I will now click on the task carousel on the FSM area. Functional setup manager, I click on it. This is called the task carousel. All the tasks are coming up. Click on the search in the bottom. Click on the search in the bottom. And then I will now paste the task. A task is an executable one. Fine, enter it now. So manage data roles and security workplace. Enter it. The task will be coming in the bottom. So there is a hyperlink on the bottom. I will now click on the hyperlink and then execute the task. Now. Remember, task or setup task. All the setups are basically known as a task actually. <coughs> now we come to the page. Now. Here, I am now going to create a custom human resource specialist role. That will be having full powers actually. Later on, I will explain you about why exactly is required now. Fine, click on create. Now. I'm going to give a click on the create icon. I'm now going to create a custom human resource specialist role. So I will now choose a yeah, what's called a prefix called P01 now. Fine with that. So the data role I'm going to give is what P01 is a procurement. Fine. You can also create you try to what happens said develop one uh, three-letter word for you exclusively on this now. Fine, and then start to work on it. I will now say the human <coughs> human resource specialist. That's the one I'm going to do now. So the job role which I'm going to do is I'm going to give the existing one now there. I will now give the existing human resource specialist now. I will now say human <coughs> resource and then a specialist. And then give a tab now. So this is one. So human resource pressure is the one. Fine. That got us. And then the role name is also coming over here. <clears throat> so this is an existing one now. Human resource pressure is the existing one. So I am now using the existing one with which what happens? I'm going to create a, create a custom role on this one. This is a P01 human resource pressure is the custom one. So this is the existing job role through which what happens? I'm now creating a custom role. So click on next on the top now and click on the next. We are going to the security console area, creative area. So I'm going to give him full powers for everything now. So this role will be having full powers now. In reality, we will not be giving full powers. So organization profile, no, fine. I will now say view all and then give a tab. View all. So similarly here also everywhere view all. That is the highest privilege. So view all workers. No. Go there. So position view all. And then give a tab. Go down. And then here. Everywhere view all and then view. Such a facility is not available in supply chain or financials or projects. It is available only for HCM. HCM is the only area where we can, from a front end, we can very easily configure your roles. No? You can customize your roles actually. <clears throat> this is not available for other, other um, uh, applications. HCM is a, basically a very pet module. And then so they developed all these things. No? Fine. I don't know why they have not developed for supply chain actually. And financials are also not there. No? You all, I'm giving it now. Go there. Click on you all. View all workers. I'm giving it now. I'm going to click on it. So let us now see whether we are given everything. View all, view all, view all, view all, view all, view all, view all. I'm going to click on it. So everything has been given as a view all. Now you go to the next now. Now this train will now get expanded for each and everything now. Fine. For the position, for the person, <clears throat> and then for the payroll, everything it will now get expanded. Now I click on next. <coughs> for the position, if you give a next now. And then now we need not have to modify anything at all. Because here is all view all, and then if you want, you can even modify these things now. Fine, go that click on. So click on next now. Don't modify anything. Fine, because we are going to give full powers for this now. view all, and then you can even put the territories over here like this now. Go that. So no need to do anything at all. In the next next go, and then directly go to the review now. We are given full powers for this custom role. Fine, click on review. So we are going to review and then submit now. So whenever a form has got a submit button, we have to submit it. Otherwise, it will not work at all. Fine, go there. So it is all reviewed now. It will not show you everything in the bottom. Whatever you have chosen now. So this is going to go highest power now. Fine, click on submit now. Fine. The P01 human resource specialist, I'm going to submit it by which what happened, the role gets created with the highest power actually. So HRMS has been made so simple that people can, uh, what happens, uh, do it in a very logical manner, whereas others it is not so. Contact Karthik whenever you have to have a customizer role. He is a specialist on this now. 
So he will not teach you a lot, and then you can even interact with him for any role customization requirement which is going to come into your company. Yes, and plenty of role customizations actually. So that is via sysadmin actually. So I am now creating for the HRMS through this task. Actually, this task is basically giving me. Oh God, somebody, please. Okay, thank you. Fine. Somebody has replied back in this place. No, fine. She is asking about <laughs> all these things. Okay, can we share the Zoom link? Oh God, I think I already pasted. No, no, hold on, hold on. Why people don't read it? I don't understand this. Now. Oh, there. Now it's all completed. If you go on and query the P01, now if I'm entering now. So once when you query it, you'll be getting it over there. And the role is now ready. That's it. Step number one is complete. Any doubts on this one? We're going to go to the step number two. <coughs> Nana, what is the expectation, Nana? Like, do we need to do all the things parallelly along with you? No, no, no. Don't okay. do it anything parallelly. You have got 23 hours time. I'm doing it in one hour and then you have got 23 hours to do now. Fine. And this uh, training, I am now going to reduce the speed. Actually, if I know many people have asked me to reduce the speed, and so I'm going in a reduced speed. We can we do it in half an hour or whatever I do. Fine, 15 minutes, you can very well do it because I speak a lot. <clears throat> so, don't. Okay, Nana, sir, mm. oh, what is the importance of this human resource specialist? Uh, I will be talking about it a bit later on. Fine, not why we have made a custom role, I will not tell you later on. <clears throat> Fine, later on, I will tell you. When we come to the position creation, so position creation needs this custom role now. <clears throat> it was there previously. Now in the past one year, it might have got changed. That somebody will now tell us. <clears throat> it may not be required nowadays at all. <clears throat> I'm not sure about it because I have not touched the application for more than a year on the procurement. So I will now teach as per my way, and then afterwards you get what happens. Update now. Step number two: I am going to create an implementation user. An implementation user is going to perform the setup section. All the setups will be performed with the implementation users. And then the transactional users will be transacting on the setups. So let us now create an implementation users for what happens is setting up the uh, instance for procurement actually. Click on done now. Go there, click on done. So after this is not done, I have now come to the main area. This is the FSM area. So I will now click on the home icon. Click on the home icon. And then I go to the tools now. If I click on the tools, and then here I will now go there, go to the uh, security console. Security console is nothing but a system. Now, find the tools, security console, find click on it. I'm going to go to the security console. I'm going over there, find click on it. I will not click on the next one. Find there are plenty of things are there. Do not do a lot of RD on this now. Fine. So, this is basically an administrative activity. Somebody will now change the password expiration. All these things are there. Fine. And there are so many categories and things are there. So, another way is you know the security fully. There is a two days training on security by Oracle actually. But otherwise, don't fiddle much on this. No, fine. You because we have to concentrate on procurement and not on the sysadmin part. So, uh, role part you talk to Karthik. He will not tell you. So, go to the users part. Fine. Click on the users. Let me create a user. Fine. Click on the right hand side. Click on add user account. I'm not going to add a user account. <coughs> the first name is I'm going to have as a p01 underscore, and then I will now see implementation user imp. So, I will now give some uh, mail ID now. So my one of the mail ID I'm giving it now. Fine. The Tamilians can understand this now. <laughs> Go there. The, once when you put the mail ID, the email ID will now become automatically a user email. So change it. I can make a change. I will now say A01 underscore IMP and make it now. So I am not going to give a password now. So choose a good password for you and then do it now. So and then give a confirm password also. Sana, you are uh -huh. using P01 or A01? P01. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Good, good, good. Fine. I'm making a mistake. Now. No, no, P01. If you're making a mistake, please, then you correct me. Now, if a user has got no roles, you can do nothing as such. So click on add role now. So click on add role. If the active is not locked, and click on add role. Here, what I will do is I will now give, first of all, the IT security manager. So if you keep on typing it, it will be coming over there now. So choose this IT security manager. And then you select it and then click on add role. The role will be added over here. I will not give the employee also. The employee role, I'm going to give it. And then the Vora is having the highest power now. Fine. If it is having something else, and Vora per <coughs> will be the highest power. Fine. This is an abstract role. 
<coughs> an employee can do very many activities <coughs> other than his normal work now. So give the employee role and then click on add now. So it is not done. Can do that. The assignable and then the auto provision. Fine. Assignable means what? Uh, suppose let us say uh, Subu is my boss now. And then uh, the Subu is having the assignable functionality for these roles. And then whenever I ask Subu, he will now assign these roles to me. He need not have to have a security console uh, yeah, privilege at all. <coughs> Security console is a IT, IT security manager. If a person is having IT security manager, then only he can come to the security console. Fine. So normally the transactional users will not be given the IT security manager. And so what happens if an assignable role is assigned to them by the HRMS team, he can very well associate the assignable roles to any of his subordinates actually. And then when a user is created, when you say auto provision, then when this user is creating a user, so those roles will now get automatically provisioned to the particular user actually. So these are all Hacharama's activity. And so don't worry about much about now. This is not fine with that. Leave the assignable and the auto provision as a channel. So I have now given the username and password. And then I have added ID security manager and employee. I will give a save and close. And remember in EBIS, when you log in for the first time, the password expires. Here it is not so. The password will not expire at all. <coughs> it will be coming up as such now. So I am now saving it now. Now I have not given the application implementation consultant. That means what? This user cannot do any setup at all. <coughs> So you can now see it is executive manager is now coming with the employee role. I'm giving it now. Go there. So if I go to the home page, click on the right hand side top name, you can now see the setup and maintenance. This will be absent for my user actually. Let me log out and then log in with my new user now. Fine. Sign out and then let me log in with the new user now. So click on confirm now. So I'm going to log in with the new user now. Fine. There's a P01 underscore IMP fine, with my password now. And go there. Click on sign in now. So I'm going to sign in with this now. So once when you sign in, I will be coming into the navigator area. Fine, go there. I will now save it also. Fine, click on save it. It's now asking, prompting to save. Fine, go there, click on it. And then if you click on it, what happens? I will not be having what? The setup and maintenance part at all because application implementation consultant is absent. Now, since I have given IT security manager, I can very well go there now. Fine, go, there. go to the tools and then go to the security console. Now. If IT security manager is not there, he cannot see the security console at all. And it is equal to this. In fact, click on it and now go there. I will now add the application implementation consultant for this one. And then go to the users area okay. and then put the three letter word now. Fine. Tell me. Sorry. So we, we just gave two two roles to the PO one yeah. IMP, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the uh, springboard, if you see a lot of icons are yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Fine. I don't know also how these icons are coming. Fine. Because the employee role, once when you give now, what happens? It automatically prompts certain things automatically. The system gives you certain privileges to you automatically. So because of mm -hmm. which so many icons come automatically also. Okay. This because portion you have to talk to that some that. Uh, guy now. And I'm not aware of why these many icons are coming. And I'm mm -hmm. still anybody uh, knowledgeable in this group, please talk now. I will now edit and then add now. If I click on edit and then I'm going to add it now. If I click on add roles. And then I'm going to add the role of what application implementation now. EDP, L I C A P A O M application. And then IMP. If you write it, it will be coming. Application there are so many things on application implementation on the ASM. So Vora is the best one now. Fine. <coughs> so I will not choose the first one. <coughs> What is the ASM, Nana? No idea at all. Uh, anybody who is a technical here can I explain you fine. Roles, there are there's a separate team which will be uh, specializing in the roles. Nana, we need to select application administration, application or administration. Application Admi implementation consultant. Sorry, I made a wrong mistake. Let me delete it now. Application no, implementation it should be application implementation consultant. consultant. Yeah, I made a mistake. Application implementation. <coughs> consultant, I will not choose. Consultant, yes. If it Vora has come, you choose this. Now. Application implementation consultant, I have choose now. Fine. This is the having highest powers. We choose it and then add rows. There's no added now. Fine. Click on it. We'll now go on and see what else I had to add. Employee application implementation. And then my custom role I'm going to use. And then all users also is a better one now. Fine. Click on it. So I will not choose complaint. Fine. All users. I will not choose it now. Fine. So it's not coming. A L L. <coughs> No, see, nothing is coming as such. No, fine. So, because they modify these roles, and so what happens? They might have removed it actually. Fine for that. I will not go there. I will not put a P01. P01 is my human resource specialist custom role. And I will not add it to this. So, this is not done. Fine. So, this many roles are sufficient. I will update it now. Fine. Step number three is complete now. So, click on done, and then I will not give a save and close. Now. <coughs> so, whenever when I, you create, yeah, tell me. And sometimes I have seen like while adding the roles, uh, at the time of search, we can see uh, this 
same role repeated twice one is with ora and one is with per what yeah. is that nana I, that i don't know fine that is that is something i'm saying that ora is the best one now fine there are asm and other things are also coming fine uh, yeah. he okay. can uh, discuss with the uh, what happens whenever uh, 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 karthik comes into uh, what happens like uh, he can even discuss him he will now throw some more light on this i have now made one document i will ask him to upload whatever documents he has on security fine he will be doing it no now what you have to do okay. is once when the roles are added so this is basically a setup system fine we have to sync it to the transaction system fine so we have a similar concurrent program in ebus now fine whenever hrm setups are done when you want to sync it to the transaction systems which concurrent program you will run in ebus now anybody we have to run one concurrent program to sync the hrm setup with the transactional systems what is that now what is the name of the concurrent now? anybody uh, ebus replica ha uh, Replicate. Replicate seed data. No, replicate seed data is for multi-org access control. Fine. Overdue control. Yeah. Synchronize. Overdue control. No, 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 no. Oh, hierarchy. Hierarchy. Yeah. Yes, hierarchy. Hi what is that? What is the hierarchy? Come on, come on. Uh, empl no. Employee, employee hierarchy. Fill employee hierarchy. Fill employee, employee hierarchy. hierarchy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is fill employee hierarchy. Fine. Similarly, we have one system, one uh, concurrent to sync your system. What is the one of the concurrent? Let us know. Run the concurrent. I then I come out of it man that click on it and go to the security console <coughs> I will gradually develop speed and then go there so this many icons are coming now fine go that click on it I will now go to what tools and then I go to the scheduled process and then let us run the concurrent now <coughs> this is called import user and roles now. so go there click on the schedule new process I'm going to import user and roles this will now sync all the setups all the roles we just said done on the uh, uh, sysadmin bin to the transaction systems now. import user role and then give a tab now so you write it and then give a tab now some teach and then import user role and then give a tab the full uh, thing will be coming automatically give a tab now so it's coming fine with that click on okay i'm now going to run a concurrent program this concurrent program is known as a ess job <coughs> fine enterprise scheduler service job so that is known as a concurrent there here it is known as a ess job So the ESS job I am going to do it fine. There is no parameters for this. Now I click on submit, and then there is no submit yet. And go there, click on refresh, and then see. It will be running for about three four minutes now. Let it allow it. And now what happens? I am going to customize my Spring Boot now. I don't want so many icons over there now. Fine. I will now click on the home. Let the concurrent run. Keep on running now. And click on the click on the home icon. Let me customize the Spring Boot. So there are so many unwanted icons over there. I don't want to see this now. Fine. So Spring Boot customization is user specific. you can go to the right hand side you can now see one springboard customization icon personalized springboard i click on it now and the benefits administration i don't want cash i don't want my enterprise dishum dishum now fine setup and maintenance is required tools is required in the tools the scheduled process is required there are so many internal things that are fine I'll remove it remove it fine i know where to use the schedule process i will now have reports and analytics security concerns okay fine only three i will now keep it <coughs> in the tools only three are there <coughs> procurement we are going to do it now procurement has got so many things it is now going to come up as and when we add the roles now fine me i remove it now asset inquiry not required and go there go down and then business plans subscription management contract management my team all these things are not required configuration is not required fine or click cloud sales marketplace remove 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 dishum dishum fine or management remove it go down and then here product management is required and one partner management is not required hr is not required they go down so and our personalizations allowed here in the same way like we yeah, did yeah, in yeah. ebs core yeah, pages yeah yeah it's there uh, your doc technical and then uh, they will not teach you about how to personalize the form itself the entire form can be personalized actually. so click on okay now so once when i do it i will have a okay. reduced icon now fine this is okay this much is sufficient for us so we are now created and then we will log out or log in now and click on sign out and sign in now confirm and then again login now so we are having these icons over here and that's it for the day so we are now learned about how to create a user with the appropriate roles and then how to customize the springboard fine and not much of a thing has been taught on the stream now today so this record will be uploaded into the what's called your this thing and then we will not continue our setups tomorrow i'll be picking up speed now fine i'll not be going at this speed now fine with that so we got plenty of things to do now
I'll be picking up speed from tomorrow. Yes. <coughs> import users and all. This is the users job, which I run. So step number four is complete. Now. We are logged in, and then we will now see from tomorrow the configure offerings. We are going to see begin tomorrow. Is it all clear? Are you all now comfortable into the uh, what's called your uh, fusion area? Fine. Any doubts? Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. yeah. No, no, fusion, no, no. as far as procurement is concerned, is an excellent one now when compared to EBS now. <clears throat> They've done a lot of enhancements. Nicely done. Nana, no, no, just a request. Uh, I want to know uh, what are all the releases in uh, Fusion Cloud? And Every they're... year, 4.4 four releases are coming. In, in this is year. there any document for that so that uh, uh, I can... I don't see. The latest revision only will be, will, be, will be available now. So if you want to see the revision number, I will not tell you what the revision number. Fine, click on it. So he go there and then see this area now. Click on it. If you go there, you click on the name now. <coughs> click on it, and then here, what happens? You go to the about this application. Fine, click on it now. Now it's 20C now. Find the third quarter. Now fourth quarter has started. 20D will come now. So you won't find anything on 20B at all throughout the world. And nowhere to be 20B at all. Everything would have been upgraded to 20C. And then gradually during this month, what happens? Is they'll be upgrading it to 20D also. So the older versions will not be available for you at all to do because Oracle does the upgrade automatically. Okay. Yeah. So do we get any documents for those like uh, to keep oh, track? Yeah, the... like a release content document is all there. You have to go on and search in the meta link. You will not find what are the difference between 20 B and 20 Z. All these things will be there. Some few differences yes. will always be there. Actually. Yes, and, uh, so if you, you can find to... in meta link um, 20 C and yes. 20 B documents. You can find what are the updates on 20 B or what are the updates in... 20C yeah, in a meta link. Just update in the 20C. If you go on and uh, put a query on this meta link, you'll be getting it. Yeah, it's, it's available on docs.oracle.com. Yeah. Yes. It's also available. Yeah. Like, can you please show the job we submitted? Whether it has completed normal or. Oh, you know, see this now. I will now go to the scheduled process and then have a look at it now. Fine. So it's succeeded actually. <clears throat> Import user and roles has succeeded though it has synced it to the transaction system and so whatever. Then, uh, so, how can you view the log or something? If it is here, I log, I don't know. I'm not sure about the log. So, if you go there, you, in the bottom there will be an output will be coming. If you click on it, what happens? You'll be having a log output now. So, you can open up this and then you can even you go there, go to the ESS job and then save it onto your head uh, desktop. And then afterwards, you can have a look at it. Open. You can even look at the log, open the log. So much of the things are known. And, only technical guys can understand this. Okay, report output means output also visible here or? Uh, yeah, we will do... uh, What is your question now? So log is there, parameter is there. There is no other output. There is, sometimes what happens it will be a publishable output also. We'll be showing it to you and later on. <clears throat> we can even see a publishable output of a particular concurrent program now. This concurrent program name is ESS, is it? ESS. Is okay. the enterprise scheduler services job. ESS job, they call it. Yeah, Nana, service job, yeah. Nana, if, you, if you click your name and under the setup, you know, that link, there's a job there also on the first hyperlink. Is it the same job? Is uh, where exactly you're saying now in this place? If you click on the on your top right hand corner, your name. Oh, the name. Okay. Oh, okay. On the name. And, and the setup. Enter. Okay, fine. Setup and maintenance. Setup and maintenance. And the very first link which comes up on the HR. Yes. Yeah, uh, this okay, okay. We'll now come to the FSM part a bit later. No, 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 fine. We are into okay. the FSM part. I'll be discussing but, over the FSM part a bit later. No. Yeah, but this job same, here. Same, same, user... same, it's same, it's same. Okay. We'll be coming to this part a bit later. Got it. There are many people who are totally new to Fusion and so what happens? I'm going very slow actually. Uh, we will be picking up speed actually. And then uh, those who are not available on the WhatsApp or a Telegram, please ping me on my WhatsApp. And then I want to have a look at it and I will keep on adding. Them. And no, then, all advanced part is also there in Fusion, like uh, enterprise asset management, WMS, uh, manufacturing. Those are also there in Fusion, right? Yeah, yeah everything is there. Well, what about uh, the EBS on cloud? Have you heard of that OCI uh, thing? Uh, any what, deep? Uh, See, uh, I'm actually uh, stop the recording so that. Uh, okay, you know, some good discussions are going on, so I'm not stopping it now. So he's asking some good questions, and then I don't know the answer for it now. Right? <clears throat> what is the OCA? I don't know what exactly it is. There are plenty of modules that are available now. <clears throat> Many things have come, but not everything has come. 
And I can speak to that. OCA okay. is cloud, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, wherein you have all the infrastructure, like your servers, everything launched by Oracle. And you take your Oracle EBS licenses and use that in that cloud infrastructure. Where you have control with that is that every customization uh, that you have with the EBS will stay intact. And also, you will also continue to be in EBS. That in no way confirms that you have fusion. But in the event that you want to change your Oracle applications EBS into a fusion, the support is offered at a little uh, better rates. OK, good. Beautiful, Deepa. That is Oracle Cloud infrastructure. But there is also something called as Oracle Integrator Cloud, wherein you have some on-prem solutions, uh, some customization that's sitting on your um, the data center and then you have Oracle EBS that's in cloud and then you connect them together. That is something called as OICS, which is Oracle Integrated Cloud Services. Two different offerings, especially for companies who have some uh, software solutions that needs to be hold in hum. It can be some legal rules because of those kind of things. Good Deepa. And then I have added that the OAC records, Deepa, you can go through that and then see whether it is useful or not. If it is so, what happens? You give a post on the WhatsApp message. That is a very good one. So people who are planning to go into the technical front also, what happens? They can uh, see uh, and then uh, use those things. Now. Good. Any other questions? So Deepa is very good on the OCA and then uh, Oracle Inter OIC also. Fine. She was talking something on this now. <laughs> Yeah, Nana, Nana, this yeah, is Somnath yeah. here. Yeah, I just uh, seen, I mean, uh, some of the videos, uh, uh, their implementation project basically they do after uh -huh. creating implementation uh, user. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I have gone through your OM document. There is also not there. And here also I can see in your PO worksheet that is also not there. Mm -hmm. So if, what is the implementation project? And one more thing. Uh, is, see, it is more than more required at all. Implementation project is not dropped now. So till uh, release 10, we were using the implementation project way. Now, the FSM is more than sufficient, actually. The functional setup manager is more than sufficient. No need to have any implementation project at all. They found that it is now seldom used, and then it is not of much of a use, and so what happens? It is no more practice at all. And one more thing, Nana, with that uh, thing is, see, I do set up in development instance, and if I want to migrate any of the higher instance, yeah. in that case, we have to do manually, or is there any package that we see, can directly migrate? You have to upload it into your file, and then afterwards... You would Apple Okay. See, you upload it into a, what's called a file, and then afterwards, uh, you download, you take a copy of it, and then uh, take it to the destination system, and then that you download it. So that way, the uh, import and export is there of the setups now. But we have never done this because what happens uh, when you are making a setup there on the test, uh, there will be a lot of junks are there. The junks will also go there. So we don't prefer that way. Uh, because here, setups are not going to take much of a time. Within a week's time, we can very well perform a setup even on the production hall. So we always do manually because we have the full control on this. OK. Thank you, Nana. And Nana, we are here, Nana. Little bit. Uh, whenever you're speaking, now, whenever you're speaking once again, whenever you're speaking, you can open up your video and then speak so that others can also see who is speaking actually. Okay, tell me. Okay, now. What is Logfire in cloud? Now? Logfire what is nothing but a WMS actually. The warehouse management system is uh, uh, purchased from Logfire. Logfire is a leader in the market. So Oracle has uh, acquired it and then there is a separate instance and then it is now getting integrated into Fusion actually. So the setups of this is now getting integrated over there now. So uh, it's all available there actually. Okay, so large part is nothing but a warehouse management. Warehouse management. Okay, okay Nanda, thank you. Any other questions? Otherwise, we'll not call it a day now. Nana, quick question here. Sorry to interrupt you. Welcome. Yeah, what is the difference between IT security manager and console operator? Console operator, I don't know. I don't so, know. Sorry, this uh, security console. Uh, when you have the security console, then you can go into the one. Fine. When you have the IT security manager, then only security console will be visible for you. If you don't have the accurate IT security console, uh, what happens? The security console itself will not be visible at all. <coughs> all right. Okay. You cannot do it. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. So, uh, one question to practice whatever that we have done today, like we will be using any of those 10. Yeah, yeah. Uh, be lucky. First and last, uh, they are working for the past 10 days. That's what the student told me. But it doesn't mean that it will be working fine. So, uh, Nitin is having a hard luck. And then uh, let us hope that you are getting a good luck and then you'll know, practice on those things. And then, no, no, if you're using that rapid implementation, it saves a lot of time. Yeah. You know, if you have all those worksheets. It's not a question of save for, uh, saving time, actually. See, it is, uh, no, yes, that's true. Saving time is there. But everywhere, you cannot use the rapid implementation. That's true. No, but, you know, if you're practicing, you know, and if you lose an instance. No, you, have, you have to learn both now. Fine. So you're learning right. both. And then there also you learn. And then here also you learn. And then in the field, you decide whichever way you want to go. At least from a practice perspective, if you have those ready, you know, if you're moving into another environment, you know. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Uh, practically is a different one. Training is a different one. Training, you learn both. No? That also okay. you do. This also you do. No? So that you'll now learn both. So in the field, you decide which one is best for the customers actually. Any other questions? <clears throat> okay, then yeah. So norm normally in a real time, right? We will not configure directly in production. You will do all the configuration sandbox. Once you are confirm everything by the business, you will copy all the configuration. You will just upload and download. There's a functionality in cloud. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to do the configuration directly in production. So Subhu says that you will now configure it as in a sandbox and then uh, get the approval from the customers and then upload it, uh, you download it and then afterwards upload it into the production directly. So no need to manually set up everything in the production file. Whatever is approved upon on the dev instance, on the developmental instance, we can very well migrate it or otherwise what happens is transfer it to production. Good then, fine. Bye for now and then we'll now meet tomorrow and then we'll now continue on. Yeah, thank you, Nana. Thank you, Nana. Bye-bye. Bye, thank, thank you, Nana. Thank you, Nana. Bye. Thank you, Nana. Thank you very much. Thanks, Nana. Bye. Thank you, Nana. 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 Thank you, Nana